One. Shalom, Shalom, Akim. We like to give all honors and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekah Kodash. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. The citations to the elect men feeding the sheep of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, in sincerity and truth. This is the brother Kawaya from GMS Chicago. Brother, I'm off your eyes from the Yeah, man, we just, um, we just linked up so we can, you know, push this word like we supposed to, man. Like That's the right. scripture said, how pleasant it is for brothers, um, to, to dwell together in unity, man. And uh, we unifying what in this gospel, man. That's what keeps us together, man. We don't link up to um go to the club looking for hoes and shit. We don't link up to go shoot up pistols at the gun range. We link up what to, to push this truth <laughs> to wake that's up right. to wake up the elect, man. That's right. To edify the bills of faith and to uh, prophesy against us with the queenum. Come on, this queenum's going down. I can and guess what? A lot of people they still don't see what's happening. They taking it for a joke. At the same time, you got um a lot of people can't go to certain restaurants. A lot of people can't send their kids to school unless what? They take something that's moving closer to that MOTB. Ah, uh, I got for you. Uh. Go ahead, brother. All right, this is Habakkuk chapter two, verse four. Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith. Yeah, man. So we we we, we live by faith, man. We believe every single word line in these scriptures, man. And evil be, man. He's always going to be unjust, man. He's the wicked of the earth, the destroyer, the cancer of the earth, man. Hmm. And he's going to be brought down very soon. But guess what? Hey, here's what here's what the Lord say. This is the book of um, Proverbs 15 and 3. It says, the eyes of Yahweh are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. So the Lord see everything this devil's doing, man. The, the devil see everything that this devil's doing, man. You got him at the Bohemian Globe trying to be covered with bushes and shit, doing all kind of sacrifices. You got Esau coming together with these um councils, them G sevens and all this stuff, man. What are they talking about? The eradication of our people, man. And we don't, our people don't see it, but guess who see it? Yeah, how about Shimmy man? Let, let me back you up, my brother. Got me. Yo, all day. Go ahead, brother. God, this is uh, Job chapter 34, verses 21 and 22. For his eyes are upon the ways of men, and he seeth all his goings. Oh, uh, everything. There, there is no shadow of like it. There is no darkness, nor shadow of death, where the workers of iniquity may hide themselves. <laughs> nowhere to so, run, nowhere like, to hide. <laughs> God, like the brother said, man. Yahweh Shemel sees everything. Everything. Hey, really, hey, you see how these devils, man, it looked like they got away with murder. When you think back to Abraham, Abraham Lincoln, George Washington, General Custer, all them um General Pike, all them white boys from history, because they died of old age, rich, their family got money. So when is these devils gonna pay for their atrocities on this earth, man? In the kingdom. <laughs> That's right. And we watching their kingdom fall down right now. I'm, let me get this right quick. This is the book of Proverbs. We're going to go to 15 and 26. It says, the thoughts of the wicked are an abomination to Yahweh. But the words of the pure are pleasant words, man. And, and the, Lord, the, Lord, the Lord only dealing with the children of Israel, starting with the prophets, man. That's why he got us out here speaking, waking up our people. While this, we really, honestly, we building while this devil is tearing down, man. That's what he was set That's up to right. do. That's what this so devil was. No, you good, brother. That's what this devil was set up to do, man. If you're looking for good to come out of Edom, like these Jakes going to Edom for Egypt for that um for <laughs> help for them the emo for them um, the sickness the fake sickness going around. What they about to get um bit by that snake that serpent? <laughs> That's right. I got something for you, brother. All day. All right, this is Psalm chapter twelve, verse five. Psalm chapter twelve, verse five. For the oppression of the poor. For the sign of the needy, and that's what we're doing, man. We're being oppressed, and we are at time putting up these lessons, these prayers to Yahweh Shemel Shah constantly. Now will I arise, say Yahweh Shemel Shah, I will set him in safety 
Hey, we, we at that time right now. Read that again. He shout, now I will arrive. Because the Lord turned okay. his back on our suffering for what, a long time, right? That's right. He said, uh, I will set him in safety from him that puffeth at him. So, yeah, how about showing yourself? Not forgetting about us, man. We as kids, man. We as children, man. So, y'all got hell to pay, man. All you heathens, man. Every last one of y'all, man. Especially you, Esau. You got it, brother. Oh, man, I'm, I'm listening because the Lord going to get him. The Lord going to get him. You read it one more time? Oh, yeah, one more time. I... <laughs> All right, this is Psalms 12, verse 5. For the oppression of the poor, for the sign of the needy. Hey, they think the poor is anybody who ain't got no money in their pocket, man. The poor, the Lord don't even think about the children of Israel, man. The Lord ain't That's thinking right. about no poor-ass Moabite or poor-ass Edomite. <laughs> Each damn That's sure right. ain't thinking about no poor-ass Edomite, man. Now will I arise, say if Yahweh by Shin Yahweh Shai, I will set him in safety hmm. from him that puffeth at him. Yeah, who puffing at us, man? These other nations. It ain't just Esau Edom. They all against us, man, because they what it says, they they was a confederate against us. And they still a confederate against us right now, man. You got um Ishmael giving us that poison in the gross in the um restaurant in his little bodegas. You got um the, the motherfucking Chinese giving you dogs and rats and all type of abominable food to eat. You got Esau and giving you poison for your body, man. So we, we got to deal with all these nations. Ham got nothing but hatred going going for us. So we got to realize, man, we, hey, like it says, nation not desired, man. That's right. I got something else for you, brother. Go ahead, brother. This is Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 7. Remember the days of old. Consider the many years. So I can remember the days of old. Yeah. Consider the years of many generations. Ask thy father, and he will show thee. Thy elders, and they will tell thee. Come on. So we ain't forgotten that. And we ain't never going to forget that. That's right. You know? Hey, what, what George Bush say, Um, never forget. <laughs> I'll never forget, never forgive. <laughs> After that fake ass nine one one, you remember? Because he, <laughs> he, they them they don't they don't forget a goddamn thing. They still um bigging up the Roman Empire, right? <laughs> That's right. They still bigging up man, because them motherfuckers do a deep research in history, and they still bigging up the empires they were so called great in. So man, we ain't God. supposed to forget nothing either, man. That's right, my brother, because it, whatever happens to them, they remember. They be exalted to the You want us to we forget a hundred years, enough. but you remember in two thousand years ago. God. Exactly. Can I sneak one in for you? Hey this, man, bring it out, bro. This is the book of Isaiah twenty four, and um, it says nine. It says the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have tra transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, and broken the everlasting covenant. You gotta realize the people ruling this society right now, they ain't they ain't for you, Howard. They're not for righteousness. They're not for a society of um of things being in order. They're all about out of order. That's why they want a new world order. They don't like the order the Lord set up. <laughs> they said bump with the Yahweh Hashem that Yahweh Shai got set up. We need we want to set up a new world order with people chip, with people half robot, half zombie, half dead, man. That's what not even half dead, fully dead. Because once you um move out the way of understanding, you a fucking zombie to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. And that's all you people who about to go out there and take that jab from this devil, man. That's right. Beautifully said. Hey, they're going to realize game over when they ask can't eat. That's that's the only thing that's going to bring reality to these people, man. Because they, they, the, right, like, they could deal with the electronics getting cut off. But when they ask ain't got nothing to motherfucking eat and they can't feed that family member, that's when they're going to know this is real. Yeah, when they can't eat that, uh, that bacon, that bacon on the cheeseburger, they're going to be mad as hell. Oh, come on, man. One of my bros, man, dude I talk to, yeah, man, I wake up every morning, my daddy cooking that bacon, man. Oh, that's all I smell in the crib. I'm like, these niggas crazy. <laughs> 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 he, he was so crazy. He just woke up thinking about that bacon, man. I said, these brothers crazy, man. And then two weeks later, Jake having a stroke. Oh, yeah, Jake's sick as hell. <laughs> <laughs> 
man. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, man. Hey, we waiting for judgment. That's the only thing we waiting for. What is it? It's either death or deliverance. Hey, that's right. Let me grab one for you. This Proverbs 4 and 14. It says, enter not into the path of the wicked and go not in the way of evil men. Yeah, the wicked motherfucker is going to take that um, MOTV. The wicked people are going to follow this system. The evil men, man, they're going to be wicked. And hey, it says um, the wicked going to do nothing but what? Wickedly, man. <laughs> Don't be looking for no wicked motherfucker to change his ways, man. The Lord said bring somebody worthy of repentance, man. You know what I'm saying? That's right. That's right. I got something for you, brother. Come on. All right, this is Revelation. Chapter 3, starting off at verse 10 and 11. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Which shall come upon which shall come upon all the world. Yeah, that's that work. That's that work. Salak, so like, that's that work. It talks about in the Bible. We ain't talking about your nine to five. These niggas think they nine to five is the work that the Lord told man, nigga, you supposed to work <laughs> and provide for yourself and your family. That ain't the work you're talking about. I'm talking about pushing this gospel, handling the Lord's business, man, waking up his men. That's the um that's the that's what we kept, this truth. And we endured everything that came along with this truth, man. You're gonna be hated for this truth, you're gonna be despised for this truth. <laughs> Hey, pretty soon, motherfuckers gonna try to turn this in for this truth, man. The Bible's gonna be so-called try to be banned for this truth. But guess what? We still gonna hold our our, our peace, man. We still gonna hold our faith. Let's see how about shimmy outside? That's right. And behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast, which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Go ahead, brother. Take it on down. A nigga gotta be crazy. To be in the truth for a long time and then to give up. Ah. Why? Because you can't take it. What? You've been preparing yourself for all this, all this time. You've been talking about what? Martial law. You've been talking about the um, the MOTB. We've been talking about um shit, chaos and race wars and a time you might. That's another thing. A lot of these Jakes think they're going to be living in the crib they got until the missiles come, man. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of Jakes think they're going to be driving around that whip, man. Pretty bad. Look, you might have to flee on your motherfucking feet out of the city. That's right. You don't know what's going to happen. That's why the scripture said this is not your rest, man. Go ahead, brother. Uh, I'm going to grab that for you, huh? Oh, man, please do. All right, this is, uh, you want, me, you want me to get straight to the point? You want me to start uh, a little man, we up? can start up. We can start up. All right, I'm going to start at verse 30 and, and, and that's 40. This is um, 2nd Ezra chapter 16, starting off at verse 30. You can jump in if you want to. Uh. Okay. As a woman with child in the ninth month bringing her son, bringing forth her son, with two or three hours of her birth, of her birth, great pains and pass her womb with pain. When the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. Even so, shall not the plagues be slacked to come upon the earth. And I know we way closer than two, three hours of Yahweh Shai coming. That's why the Esau got his um so-called doomsday clock. He talking about, man, seconds, right? Huh? Minutes towards, he talking about minutes, my, minutes and seconds to midnight. That's how, he know he close to his downfall. The devil, the scriptures say he know he got a short time left. And that short time left, it really is talking about all oh, hell breaking breaking loose on the face of the earth, man. Because when the Lord coming back, he's only coming to bring more fire <laughs> on That's the right. fire that has already begun. That's right. <laughs> Even so, shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth. Ooh, the plagues, the plagues, the plagues, baby. Let's talk about the plague. Let's talk about the plagues, the famine. Let's talk about the invasion of different um, bugs eating up your food, um, your plants, your vegetation. <laughs> Let's talk about these storms and weird weather patterns that's happening. The floods in New York, the earth, um, the earthquakes in California, the fires, man. The Lord's setting things up for what? A full out disaster. <laughs> a full hey, the, oh, he turned things up. Hey, the scriptures say a motherfucker gonna desire to see a man and won't be able to, man. He, he gonna look to see another person, man. That's how many motherfuckers the Lord's gonna kill on the face of the earth, man. That's right. That's right. You can break, uh, you can hop in whenever you need to. Uh, uh, go ahead. Like it. it says, uh, and the world shall mourn, and sorrow Whoa, shall the mourn what? The what? Time. The what? Read that again. What's going to happen to the world? And the world 
Michelle Moore. Oh, no, brother, everything going to be all right. We going to be okay, brother. All you got to do is have it, man. Listen, brother, you, you got to stack up your money, brother. <laughs> and the world shall mourn. <laughs> And sorrow shall come upon it on every side. They about to be fucked up. They about to be fucked right. up. <laughs> Everybody walking around so proud and so mighty and so high minded of themselves, they about to be going real low. Uh. Real low. <laughs> All right. This is verse uh, 40. Oh, my people, hear my word. Make you ready for the battle. Mm. And in thy evils. Hey, don't didn't the Lord tell you to put on um the armor of the Lord? God. That's how you get ready for the battle. You gotta put on the battle um attire. <laughs> and, God. And, oh, it's my just, people. and it's just true. In my man. words, make you ready to thy battle, and in thy evils be as pilgrims upon the earth. Uh-huh. Keep it moving. Keep it moving in them times. That's right. It's about to get real. It's already real. <laughs> hey, man. It's, yeah, how about Chanel Shadrach? He, he's turning it up every second of the day, man. It's getting worse and worse, man. Crime is going up and all that, man. Hey, we don't know what we're going to wake up to tomorrow. <laughs> God, it could be all mayhem, all chaos, man. And we hope we pray for it, man. Con, con. I got something for you, brother. <laughs> Psalm 78, <laughs> Psalm 78 and 1. It says, give ear, O my people. To my law, incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings of old. Yeah, it, yeah these dark sayings, these parables are coming to light. Now you seeing what they really mean. <laughs> you seen the Lord was talking about certain things he was talking about at them times really was for the times that we're in right now. That's Every, right. Everything is being revealed, man. Man, oh man. That's, I, 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 got, I got a beautiful one, huh? All day. <laughs> I got a beautiful one. We, we, we always know this one right here. <laughs> Let's get them. All right, this is uh, Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 16. Behold, I will send for many fishes. And that's what we're doing right now, man. Yeah, yeah. We're speaking, we speaking these words, man. We're fishing for the elect. You know? And that's the only that's the only ones worthy of repentance. That's right. And they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters. And they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. You got it out. Whoa, read that one more time. What's about to happen? <laughs> 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 it sounds like hunting season, cause I know the Lord, the Lord, the, the Lord been having His men out here fishing for a long time. So we, that's right. We, we we haven't felt the hunting part yet. We we've been hunted. <laughs> we we've been the God. ones who've been hunting. We've been what the prey, like the scriptures talk about. The prey departeth not. Man, we stuck like glue in this motherfucker until the Lord come deliver us. Read that again, soldier. And after, I will send for many hunters. And they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. Yeah, so you, you got to realize for all the people who came up against the scriptures, for the heathens, for the two-thirds, man, because you're going to have a, a lot of rich two-thirds hiding them rocks too, right, Ock? That's right. You're going to have a lot of rich two-thirds trying to go out into the heavens, <laughs> go into the ocean. Go, if you could get that verse, Ock, they're going to try to hide in the rocks. They're going to hide here. They're going to try to go there. They're going to try to go everywhere. What? From from fear of the Lord. <laughs> from fear of the Lord. Because at one time, the people who was hiding was the popular people on the earth. Now they running like some bitches. Because they know their time is fucking over, man. That time of wickedness and filthiness and pollution is over. <laughs> That's right. It's over. We, we, we looking for righteousness, Ock. <laughs> That's right. We desire righteousness. <laughs> Alright, I got it for you. I got the one. I got the one in Revelation. Oh, bring them all out. I know you got them. Alright, this is Revelation chapter 6. Break them down. Starting at 15. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, 
and the mighty man and every bond man and every free man hid themselves in the dens and the rocks of the mountains. So when that day of judgment comes, everybody's going to be trying to flee from your by sitting out with of judgment, man. Everybody, right. out the bond men, the free men, the rich men, man, the captains, the military niggas. The, the Everybody. Niggas finna break out of jail just to run for, <laughs> to go hide. <laughs> Homeless but motherfuckers you can't, you finna can't try. Run. Come on, you can't run. Negative. Negative. Right, look, so I was taking a trip, man, to like three, four, five cities away from where I'm at, right? And I was on the highway, and I, I'm just driving. Man, I'm hitting, I'm gunning. I'm doing like a buck 20, man, buck 25. But the whole time, all I'm thinking is like, all I'm looking in the rear view, like, what if the missiles that hit, man? You can't fucking escape this fire. The Lord says it's going to take one hour to air out America, right? So where the God, fuck you also, gonna, where the fuck you going to run to? Exactly. And also, walks a lot here. And that's just your how about shit don't try being nice. <laughs> Real talk. That's just that's him being nice. He can take the space out in five minutes. Knock this bitch off the shelf. Certain man, certain uh, cities gonna like you said. Certain cities, it's only gonna take what five minutes to knock out that little area. Out. Roof. The next man, exactly. a, a state will be probably what a, another twenty minutes. Roof. Exactly. <laughs> another state, another fifteen to seven minutes, and man, the Lord finna run through this bitch so quick. Man, it's, 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 it's gonna be unbelievable, man. But he's just being nice, man. Yeah, yeah. And and I like his niceness. Let me finish this up. Uh, verse 16. And said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sit upon the throne. Yeah, they got that one on. The they, of the lamps. they got that one spot where you got the military. Um, They got this big ass mountain where they don't build an underground bunker. They got, man, it's like a city underneath that. I know all the brothers have seen it, right? Uh, that shit ain't gonna be able to save these motherfuckers in America, man. Anything, any kind of bunker you got in America, you a fucking idiot, man. You should have built your shit clear the fuck away from America, because the Lord got something special for me. Don't you realize all the enemies of America finna fire on this bitch? Imagine a gang, like warriors. All the motherfucking gangs don't turn on one gang. That's what's about to happen to America. Beautiful example. Beautiful example. Beautiful example. Verse 17. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? <laughs> Nobody, man. The only people that's going to be saved is the elect, man. That's it. That's it. That's it. Hey, man. We, we don't have no compassion, no mercy, no remorse, nothing for Babylon, man. Hey, man, fuck this place, man. Boy, we, we, we want this place to be destroyed right now, man. That's right. While we talking, doing this lesson. I got man, something for you. <laughs> I got Sorry, something for you right quick. I, this is um, Revelation 18 and 20. It says, Ooh. Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for Yahweh hath of bend you on her. Uh, 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 uh. We're going to be rejoicing, like the brother said. So as as you know, uh, the Car Reefer talking about you know David and the twelve apostles going to be on the thrones and all that other stuff, but every prophet is back. Every prophet is back. I'm waiting for King David to pop up. Exactly. So what do you get? Come on, man. This ain't no game, man. So you two third niggas keep on thinking it's a game. Now I'm about to see y'all shot going to destroy you, man. That's right. They play, already play destroyed mentally. Church, man. So I can say what, no, man, I said they already destroyed um spiritually. John, that's right, man. They leaking massive oil, man. The Lord taking that oil from them and putting um nothing but um rubbing alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> that shit burning out quick. <laughs> it's burning. <laughs> Fuck them niggas. Hey, but you know what though? Somebody gotta do it, man. Hey, better them than hey. What we say, man? Like we used to say at funerals, better that nigga in the casket than me, said man. Fuck that. Exactly. <laughs> better that exactly. mama crying than my mama crying, man. Fuck that. Exactly, man. Call Lord, y'all about to call Lord, y'all about to send me outside. With that, we gonna give all honors and glory to.
Yeah, how? By a simp. Yeah, I was shot by a simp with Kakodash. Shalom, Akin. Shalom.